Hello. My name is Bob. Welcome to a simple, or, beginner, explainer video on how the ignition system works on a Model T Ford. People often think of Model T engines as really simple. And they can be. That said, the Model T can be different than things some of us have worked on before. Doing a little research with the manuals in the Model T form online can be a good idea before working on these old cars. During this video we're going to talk about and show you the coil box. Know that there are four coils within the coil box. They are responsible to amplify the electrical power for the spark plug. Although these are rebuildable, doing that will be beyond this video. If you determine that you have a problem with one or more of your coils, new ones can be purchased from the suppliers. Also, if you find your nearest Model T club they may have a member who can assist you. If the car's headlights turn on and look normal, that shows you have a battery connected and there is power in it. Some cars didn't come with batteries and were started using the magneto. You could add a battery to get it going or you'll need to have someone turning the crank during testing. Either way, the car needs a good power source to start. There should be a full-time ignition power going into the bottom of the box that is wood in this photo. Some coil boxes are mounted to the firewall, but the function will be similar. The second thing the coils need is a ground source. The coil grounds on a Model T are also the control wire for the ignition timing. The black component in the photo is the timer found at the front of the engine. The timer is adjusted during starting and driving with the arm on the steering column. The black wires run a ground source to the front of the coil box as shown in the wood. Although there are different designs of timers. As you slowly turn the crank to rotate the engine, you should get four grounds at the wires going into the coil box at different times as the engine is rotated. Keep in mind, that timers can cause weird problems. They can be out of sync with the engine. Or generate a ground at the low speed of turning the crank by hand. Then loose it at the high speed of a starter motor. If your spark plugs seem good, you may need to return to the timer for more diagnostics. You can test the coil box grounds. By clamping a test light on a known good power source and holding the tip to the ground connection to the coil box. If things are working correctly, you should hear a buzzing coming from the coil at the same time you have a ground on one of the coils. If you have power and grounds going into the box with a strong buzzing sound. The next thing to check is the spark plug wires and the spark plugs. If the coils are working correctly, the top of the spark plugs will have power going into them. Be careful. This is enough power to really hurt. The next step will be to check of power and spark at the plugs and wires. You can hold an insulated tool like a plastic handled screwdriver on the top of the cylinder head and beside the wire. Watch carefully and see if the spark jumps across where the yellow dot is in the photo. If it does, that means you have power this far which is good. Unlike a modern vehicle, you do not need to be turning the engine over to test for spark. If the coil is working correctly and buzzing, you will have a continuous spark on the plug with the buzzing coil. Be careful not to run the coil for more than 20 or 30 seconds because they heat up and can cause damage. Finally, you can then pull the spark plug out of the head and see if there is spark at the bottom of the plug. Assuming the timing is correct, if you have strong spark your ignition should be fine. That will conclude today's short video. Please remember that while these videos are fun, the manuals and the elder caretakers of these cars are where we want to source most of our information.